put her to work. You put her to work. Oh, uh, thank you. You do too. Beautiful. Beautiful. So, there's a whole lot to talk about. A whole lot is going Not on. Not a whole lot of time. <laughs> I know. So, in, uh, I don't know, 30 seconds. 30 seconds. What's going on on The Bold and the Beautiful? On The Bold and the Beautiful, we just found out that Maya Avon was born a boy. She's a transgender woman, and she's kept that a secret. Not that she's hiding from who she is, but it's her choice on whether, when, and how to disclose. And now, my character who's engaged to her has found out he's kind of tripping about the fact that she didn't tell him and also because we were going to get married so why didn't you open up to me and he's he feels that she should tell rick who she's with played by jacob young who's nominated tonight so now she's in a dilemma about people finding out her secret before she gets a chance to tell and it's sort of interesting in the strange twist of fate we have a real life story that has been unfolding on the news and just to me I really care more about this one here than that one. Well, I think the thing about seeing it on a show or within a storyline is like we get to show you how the rest of the world responds and, and really pay attention to how Carter, Rick, and everybody else may respond to Whereas the rest of the world. You're getting like tweets of people chiming in and some are vulgar and some are crass and some are, you know, but here we get to tell the full story. Which is kind of cool to see. It's interesting because this is really an educational opportunity as well. Although, you know, I'm sure Brad doesn't want to use, you know, it's not preachy, it's teaching, but it, it is. There are a lot of people who, this is the first time they've ever... ever absolutely. And, and my character, to see him totally flip out when he finds out about it, to him going, I care about her and I want what's best for her, to watch his change, you know. And then you'll see how other characters deal with it when or if they find out. And I think that's something that we're not going to get from the news. We're not going to get the full story, you know. And in fairness, I mean, you have some really great actors that are yes. knocking it out of the park, yourself included. Thank you, man. And, and we're all very committed to telling this story with the utmost sensitivity. And it comes from Brad. You know, when he did the storyline, he understands the soap opera and it needs to have all the bells and whistles and drama. But at the same time, we're talking about people, and this is something that people are going through. So we are very sensitive about this, and and we're having fun doing it. Completely unrelated, but that's what we do here on the Let's red carpet. It. Bold and the Beautiful. They've gone around the world, around all sorts of world. other places. If you had to say, if Brad came to you and said, you know what, tell me where we should go. We'll send you there. Where would you like B and B to go next? I'm like, we should do like a month long storyline in Hawaii. Where we just telling story in Hawaii. We we'll have, we'll have to be there for two months to shoot, and you know that's what we'll do. Yeah. And then on the other one, we know that soaps are known for evil twins and lookalikes and all sorts of other things. If you had an evil twin, what's the first thing you would have them do for you? If I had an evil twin, I might have him kill me, and I'll just play the evil twin for the rest. So I could be bad. I want to be bad. I want to be bad. I want to play not, we've had a couple people who said they are the evil twin, not you. I'm not the evil twin, but I would love to play the evil twin, and I would get rid of me and just be the evil twin on the show. We like the non-evil twin. Here. I know, but then he'll be a bad boy, and then he'll find a girl, and he'll be redeemed, and he'll have the edge, and he'll be good, and then we'll find out the one that he killed is alive, and the good one's now bad, and he's coming after him. Woo! Mind blown. Mind blown. Can't even think. So that ends anything that I could possibly. I think don't have any questions for the rest of the red carpet. I want to thank you. It's always you, so good bro. to see good you. Good seeing you too, man. Absolutely. Have a good one. All right. oh, nice did you, meeting you. Have you? Did you remember me? Have you seen the No, I It's Chris Shell's house, you know. We've seen each other in passing at these events and stuff. Yes, yes, yes. yes. Should I have right of first refusal? She has to come and do everything I say right now. I'm the evil twin in this operation. <laughs> I say, get yourself dressed up, come and and stand in the in the in the heat, and do it. Uh, it is hot though. You're standing in the heat, man. Well, I'll let you talk to all these other awesome people. Great talking to you. You look very beautiful. Nice to meet you.